So the biggest complaint I hear about owners and managers, recruiters, is that their people aren't making enough phone calls. I don't care how many lists of free candidates you download off the internet. If you can't pick up the phone and call those people, those lists are absolutely worthless. So the key, your core competency, is to be able to make more phone calls in the time that you have in the office. And I'm not talking about you know, more than four hours a day. I'm, I'm saying if you have four intense hours of, of telephone time, if we can count up all your minutes and it adds up to four hours a day, that's a good amount of phone time. So there's three things I'm going to share with you that you can make more phone calls in the time that you have. The first one is a sense of urgency. You need to realize that your time is finite. Your most important resource is that resource that you can't get back, and that's time. You can always make more money. You can always grow more resources, but you can't get time back. It's finite. You need to approach your day. No, you need to attack your day with a sense of urgency. How you start your day in the beginning of the day is how you usually end up. I know for myself, if I start my day doing administration, if I'm going to be making phone calls later that day, they're not as effective as if I start my day making phone calls. So your first action item is this. Start your day and see if you can make five phone calls before 9 o'clock in the morning. Owners and managers, I coach them, I say, why don't you do a contest? Take a $10 bill, tape it up to the refrigerator in your office, and say the first person that has five conversations with five new people, you can come here and take this $10 bill off the refrigerator. Now, if you create this habit, you'll probably make at least 20% more in your income compared to last year just by making five phone calls before 9 in the morning. But recruiters will kill themselves to compete with their friends so that they can say, I'm the one that got the $10 bill off that refrigerator. I don't have to pay for my lunch today. The second concept is this. You need to have a daily focus. Every day, before you go to bed, you want to plan your next day. But one of the things you want to do is you want to set a target for the next day. How many conversations do I want to have? How many connects do I want to have? Some search firms, they measure the amount of dials you pick up the phone, you dial it, you don't count the number of connects that you have. That's okay, but what do you really want? Do you want more dials or do you want more conversations? You want more conversations. So one of the keys in goal setting is to focus on what you really want. You want more conversations. How many do you want? Set a specific target every day. I like to break it up. Have 15 new, new conversations in the morning, 15 new conversations in the afternoon. Or if you're talking to high-level folks, that's where you recruit. You might have 10 new conversations in the morning, 10 new conversations in the afternoon. That's 10 new friends in the morning, 10 new friends in the afternoon. And that's a good day. And you want to break that up into segments. When you create your plan, you want to budget for your day. You want to group all those similar calls together. So with your recruiting calls, you want to be able to create batches of time, let's say two hour blocks of time, where you've got a plan scheduled, you already know who you're going to call, and the only thing you're doing during that time is not checking email, not talking to friends, not getting up and getting a cup of coffee, but making phone calls to those people whose list you've already prepared beforehand. So you want to have daily focus. Ask yourself, how many conversations do I want to have tomorrow? Before you leave, and you want to write that goal down. The third step, is to have an hour by hour focus. I remember hearing Brian Tracy, he's a sales trainer, he said that successful salespeople always manage themselves on an hour by hour basis. And this is something that I created, it's a telephone discipline tool. Go to the free download section of my website and let me show you how this works. So check this out, this is your telephone discipline tool. What you wanna do, you wanna highlight the number of calls per hour that you wanna make. So let's just say it's nine o'clock, I'm calling candidates. I want, to, I want to set a goal of talking to ten, five candidates per hour. 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, I'm calling candidates. Let's say I'm gonna market a candidate from 11 to 12. Anytime I'm calling decision makers about a candidate, if I can reach three decision makers per hour, for me, that's a pretty good hour. So what you wanna do when you plan your day, you wanna be able to schedule your day in terms of what things you're gonna work on from what time, and I'll go over the details of that in another video. But in terms of staying focused and staying disciplined, this is what you do. Anytime you talk to someone, check this out, baby. You put an X in the box. You talk to them, you put an X in the box. Now this is why this works. You set a goal of five conversations in this hour. Let's just say it's 9.55 a.m. and you set a goal of five connects, but you've only hit four. How much more motivated are you now to reach that one more call? you're much more motivated. Why is that? Because when you do this, you're setting your intention. You're setting your intention for what you want to accomplish on an hour-by-hour -hour basis. 
If you do those three things, if you have a sense of urgency and you start your day the way you want to finish your day, if you have a daily focus and an hour by hour focus, you will make more calls in the same amount of time that you did before. Here's an example of how powerful this is. Let's just say that currently you make four calls per hour. That's the number of calls per hour that you make. If we can improve your output by 25%, all it is is just one more conversation per hour. Whenever I go into offices and I ask my clients when I'm doing consulting in the search firm and staffing agency offices, I say, how many, how many of you measure your calls per hour? What are your calls per hour per consultant? The answer is always the same. We don't know. We've never measured that before. In our industry, measuring things on an hour-by-hour -hour basis has never been part of our culture until I introduced this concept. But it makes a lot of sense. But whatever can be measured improves over a period of time. If you want more calls per hour, you need to start measuring your current calls per hour and set those targets on an hour-by-hour -hour basis and on a daily basis and you will have a greater sense of urgency and have more candidates saying yes to you because you've increased the quantity of people that you're talking to. What's really cool is that this isn't just easy and simple. It's also fun. You want to turn your day into a series of hour-by-hour -hour goals, of hour-by-hour -hour contests that challenge you to hit that next level. You want to compare yourself to who you are now compare you to compared to who you could be in the next 60 minutes. You want that to be your contest. And if it's fun, then you're going to stick with it and it's not going to seem like work. And if it doesn't seem like work, you're going to do more of it.